Okay, this question, we've got a function, f of x, and we're told that um, f of x is equal to uh, 2x squared and uh, 3 multiplied by the natural logarithm of 2 subtract x. Show that f of x is 0 can be written in this form, so for 3 marks, where k is a constant to be found, so we need to state our k. So what we're solving is we're solving this equals 0. So 2x squared add 3 multiplied by the natural logarithm of 2 subtract x is equal to 0. Now we want x as the subject of the formula. And it looks as well like we want, if you, if you look here, we want to get rid of uh, the natural logarithm. So we're going to take exponentials of both sides. And we want to keep the, uh, the e to the x squared. So it looks like we're trying to make this x the subject of the formula. To me, it looks like that, because getting this x out will create the exponential, and it would keep your x squared there. So I'm going to try and make this x here the subject of the formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, subtract uh, 2x squared from both sides. So I'm going to say that 3 natural logarithm of 2 subtract x is equal to negative 2x squared. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So natural logarithm of 2 subtract x is going to be negative 2 thirds x squared, like that. Then I'm going to take exponentials of both sides. 2 subtract x is going to be e to the power of negative 2 thirds x squared. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add x to both sides and take this off both sides, i.e. swap the positions of these. So 2 subtract e to the negative 2 thirds x squared is going to equal x. So looking at what we want, that's exactly the form we wanted. We want e is equal to 2 subtract e to the negative 2 thirds x squared. We've got everything we want and k is equal to negative 2 thirds. So k, state that, is equal to negative 2 thirds. And we're done for the first part. It says then, the root alpha of the equation fx is 0 is 1.9 to correct to one decimal place. Use the iterative formula with x0 to 1.9 and your value of k to find alpha to three decimal places. And this is the key bit here and justify the accuracy of your answer for five marks. Okay, so we're going to use this iterative formula with x0 is equal to 1.9, uh, I think, is it? 1.9, yeah. So let's state our iterative formula for part b. xn plus 1 is going to equal 2 subtract e to the negative 2 thirds xn squared, and we said that x0 is equal to uh, 1.9. So calculator out, type 1.9 equals, that stores this in the answer function. Then type 2 subtract e to the power of fraction, so we want negative 2 thirds, so negative 2 thirds, and then x squared, but we're going to write ants squared, because we want it to remember the 1.9 answer. If you press equals, you get the following. So 1.90988, uh, so x1 is equal to 1.90988948, I think, 22. So I'm going to write all of these down until I until it, it stops moving to three decimal places. So until it stops moving to three decimal places. Press equal again. x is 1.9121, so x2 equals 1.9121, so 1915, still uh, moving to three decimal places, so x3, press equals again, 1.9126, so 1.9126, now it has stopped moving here to three decimal places, let me just type equals one more time to check, so x, is 1.9127, uh, so 27, uh, 9, 1, 2, 7, 9, 1, 2, 7. Now, it has stopped moving here to the third decimal place. So let me keep pressing equals and show you. It stays at 1.9127 to three decimal places, so it stays like that. So therefore, uh, as far as we can see, that the answer for your x is going to be, if you rounded that to the three decimal places, it would be 1.913, because you'd round up all of these end up being bigger than 5. So that would be the answer to three decimal
decimal places and we need to justify that answer is correct. So what we do is we take x as 1.913 and we go to its upper bound which is 1.9135 and we go to its lower bound which would be x is 1.9125 and we substitute those values in to our um, f of x equals uh, 0 equation, so this one into f of x. So we would work out f of 1.9125 and we would work out f of 1.9135 and hopefully we get a change of sign. So uh, let's do that. Let's go up to our original function which was uh, 2x squared add 3 add 3 natural logarithm of 2 subtract x and we would calculate that at 1.9125 and we get uh, 0 0.0069 so we get 0 0.0069 going onwards and if we calculate that at 1.9135 with a bit of luck we get a change of sign we do negative 0 0.019 so negative 0 0.019 and it continues so we can say a uh, change of sign change of sign f continuous therefore uh, one uh, x equals 1.913 correct to three decimal places as our root and we're done and lastly we're asked to solve f dash x is equal to zero so what's our f of x again let's just uh, Let's take a photograph of that. F of x is this thing here. So we're asked to solve f dash x is equal to zero. So firstly, let's work out f dash x. F dash x is going to be 4x differentiating this. And this here, well, remember, if you differentiate, if your function is y is equal to the logarithm of a function of x, then dy by dx is going to be the differential of the function inside the log divided by the original function. So just forgetting about the three for now, the differential inside the log is gonna be negative one over the original function, which is two subtract x like that, and we multiply by the three. So it's gonna be three multiplied by this. Okay, so f dash x is gonna therefore be four x subtract three over two subtract x, and we're solving that equals zero. So f dash x equals zero, so we're solving 4x subtract 3 over 2 subtract x equals 0. Multiply everything by 2 subtract x. 4x 2 subtract x take away 3 is equal to 0. And therefore expand that. 8x subtract 4x squared subtract 3 equals 0. Um, multiply everything by negative 1 and rearrange. 4x squared subtract 8x add 3 is equal to 0. And at that point, uh, you could try and factorise or use the quadratic formula, etc. Uh, I would just be tempted to get the calculator out at that point just to go equ mode equation 5, solve a quadratic. It would be 4, negative 8, and 3. And you get 3 over 2 and a half. So I know, therefore, um, if x is 3 over 2 and x equals a half are the answers, rearranging this, I know that 2x subtract 3 equals zero and two x subtract one equals zero must be the two roots. So I could have factorized this as two x subtract three, two x subtract one is zero. Does that work? Yes, four x squared um, subtract six x add three. It does indeed work, so that's the correct factorizing. So x is a half or x is three over two are our answers. Checking up here, what else did it want? It just wanted the solution for five marks and we have done that, so we're done.